Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Uh, the Pathfinder update just came out, so I guess this would be welcome too. This is going to be at episode one. Every time they do an update, I'm going to start a new series, so let's call that close enough. Anyway, I'm going to toss this on display capture if I can. Um, there we go. Okay, so Pathfinder update, version 1.2. So if you notice, we got vehicles, we got some new base building parts. Uh, maybe the freighter's moving? I don't know, we'll find out. I wonder if the, uh, the vehicles are going to be identical, or if they're going to have different variations, like in the ships. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so obviously they've added the vehicles. Visual updates. So we've got, uh, ultra textures and, uh, HB ambient inclusion, I think. Anyway, so high ultra resolutions, more accurate ambient lighting, horizon-based ambient occlusion. Okay, so that's HBAO. Uh, high contrast lighting effects. Crep... Crepuscular rays from the sun. I have no idea how to even pronounce that. Crepuscular... I don't know. Anyway, improved post-processing, uh, post HDR mode. Yeah, so, uh, shit looks new. Nicer, probably. I don't know. I kind of liked the uh, weird, like, vignette -y filter, but we'll see how it looks in the actual game. Online base sharing. So bases can now be shared online, allowing players to discover and explore your outposts. So that means if you guys can find where I am here, let's throw this into full screen so you don't see my like many tabs. Okay. So that means if you guys find my base, you can wander around it. You're not going to be able to see me, but you're going to be able to see my building. The question is, will you be able to see my spaceship and will I be able to build stuff in front of you and have you watch? I don't know if any of you guys can find me while I'm streaming this, because I'm going to be streaming this invariably. I'd love to find that out, but obviously if I can't, whatever. Okay, they also have Steam Workshop integration. Unfortunately, it's just bases right now, no mods, which sucks, but whatever. You can now own multiple ships. Uh, so your freighter can actually hold all of them, presumably maybe your base too. Uh, let's see. This is even more meaningful with the introduction of ship specialization, classes, and the ability to trade in previous ships against new purchases. Okay, so, starship specializations. There's four different ones, fighter, shuttle, hauler, and explorer. That was kind of already in the game, but now they've uh, set them apart. Haulers were always a little bit slower and uh, harder to maneuver, but I think tougher. Fighters faster, shuttles kind of an all-rounder, so on and so forth. So each starship has a specialization that improves performance in specific areas. Shuttles are all-rounders. Fighters specialize in combat, haulers have expanded cargo holds, and science vessels feature increased warp capabilities. Oh, interesting. So that's probably Explorer that science. It's kind of silly that they got that wrong, but whatever. Uh, in addition to new ships, all ships will now be class rated A, B, C, or Ultra Rare S class. When purchasing, purchasing a new ship, you'll be given the option to trade in your current ship for a discount. So that means we'll be able to just... It's not going to cost as much, which is great. Oh, so uh, A class is like damage, shield, hyperdrive. Nice, I dig. Okay, PS4 Pro information, uh, so it can go up to 4K. I'm not playing in PlayStation anymore, so eh. New vehicles, Exocraft. This is probably the part I care about the most. Uh, eh, one of them. Anyway, so can be summoned from anywhere on the planet they're constructed upon. Oh, interesting. So... You can't like put them on your ship. They're local to the pl only planet, uh, only to the planet you're on. Okay, uh, we'll figure that out. Anyway, the smallest exocraft is the Nomad, lacks in cargo space, makes up for speed, agility, and ability to glide over water. Ooh, that'll be amazing for getting rigogen. Mid range exocraft is the Roamer, all rounder, capable of quickly crossing rugged terrain and adapting to most situations. And the Colossus, uh, huge cargo hold. And yeah, so it's resource harvesting. Acquire Exocraft by hiring a Viking technician from your planetary base and completing a new series of missions. Mount powerful mining lasers and harvest resources with far greater efficiency. High intensity long range scanners aid the discovery of different buildings, objects, and resources. Oh, sweet, so we can scan for crashed ships and stuff. Equip weapons and eliminate threats. Boost your vehicle speed with the acceleration module. Awesome, there's races. Uh, so you can make your own race circuit. Along the way, you can also create a time travel trial and share it with other people. Not entirely sure how that works, because it's pretty hard to find planets that people have already been to. I don't know. Anyway, uh, hop in your vehicle, drive a route that you'd like to map out. Dropping checkpoint markers. Once the circuit's complete, race the track. Uh, over and over to set an unbeatable lap time. Players visiting your base via base sharing will be able to race the circuit you created, challenging themselves. So they might actually be able to teleport to my base somehow. That could be interesting. 
New traders have been added to space station bases, as well as a new currency. The new currency is called Nanite Clusters, can be found in various locations, including abandoned bases and cargo crates. Blueprint stock will refresh periodically, so check back from time to time to see if any new or rare blueprints become available. So a lot of the blueprints seem to be uh, base crafting related, which I'm totally fine for. Traders board space stations will exchange nanite cr clusters for your choice of blueprints. Your standing with the three NPC factions is now more important. Traders will only sell the best technology to their closest allies. Your standing with the faction can be improved by offering relics and curiosities to their representatives. Uh, or through conversation choices, seek out Viking traders for multi-tool technology, Gek for, Gek for ship upgrades, and Corvax for exosuit improvement blueprints. A new building trader will now visit your home base and will sell new base constructs in exchange for credits. And we can see, uh, we can see our standing too. Are also adding a lot more base customization. This is part of the reason why I was kind of uh, meh about the foundations update by the time uh, I was like hitting the end because we couldn't make this. Now we can, and I'm super stoked to make this like crazy looking. Uh, planetary base. More than 40 new base building parts. There goes my controller. Uh, base building parts have been added. Uh, light stairs, observation domes, and more. Uh, oh, we can add material types. That's neat. Uh, more decals. We can color it. Uh, honestly, I'm probably just going to leave it for the, uh, the generic texture. We'll see. Uh, multi-tool specialization in classes. So, now like the ships, there's multiple types. There's pistol. Rifle, experimental, and alien. So pistols are mining, rifles are combat, experimental are tuned to scanning, and the rest are alien multi-tools. I don't know what they're good at. And they also have classes. When purchasing a new multi-tool, you can trade in your current model for a disc, uh, for one with a discount. And there's also new weapon modes. So we have Scatter Blaster, Pulse Spitter, Blaze Javelin. So Scatter Blaster is an actual shotgun. Can hit multiple enemies at the same time. Nice. Pulse Spitter is... Maybe burst fire, mid-range skirmishes, particularly against fast-moving opponents. Blaze javelin is a long-range weapon, so that's a sniper. There's also more. Oh, ship weaponry. Uh, so the cyclotron, ballista, concentrated ball of charged particles towards the forward targets, causing heavy damage. A positron ejector shoots uh, in a wide cone, so it's shotgun. And infra knife accelerator is oh, it's a uh, it's a chain gun. There's also permadeath mode, which can be enabled for survival if you want to. I won't be. Honestly, this game is too grindy for me to want to play any of the harder difficulties. I'm sorry that some people probably want me to try permadeath and survival, but if I do play those modes, those will probably be towards the very end. Once this game has truly come out 1.0, I really wish they had just announced this game as early access. It probably would have been better. Anyway, yeah, so there's some trophies, but I don't care. Photo mode with filters, yay. And they updated the discovery menu, so you can see where your uh, home home system is and some other stuff, I believe. Yeah, home planet is marked on the galaxy map. That's good. Use the discovery page to browse planetary information, including resource and bio data. Oh, that is actually super useful. Previously visited planets can be marked with waypoints, simplifying return navigation. Nice. New music from 65 Days of Static. We'll listen to that in. Uh, oh, hey, you can rename your ship. Nice. Uh, let's see. You can now skip the milestone black bars. Yes. NPC interaction text is now faster, can be skipped. Option to return to game mode select has been added. Mission log's been added. Oh, uh, so maybe for those those uh, NPC side quests. That That's nice. UI has been made easier to read. Background have been added. Atmospheric low flight has been adjusted and improved. Ships, weapons, and vehicles can all be renamed. Long clicks have been removed. Okay, so we can we can na navigate the interface faster. And then this is pretty much everything that we already knew. Uh, I guess we'll read through it faster. So 50% more generated soundscapes, more start music, stuff like that. Ship landing code improved. Oof, this is a lot of information to parse through. Honestly, we've gone over the main stuff. I might read over the patch notes myself later, but right now I want to get into the game because this took 10 minutes and I want to actually play uh, now that we've seen what's changed. So, uh, let's see. I gotta quickly turn off display capture so it doesn't like mess up here. Okay, here we go. So, fair warning, last time I was here, I it was a modded world, so I'm not actually sure what's going to happen. Um, Just 
fair warning, we might immediately fall through the world and die. <laughs> uh, because I think my base might be underground. Hopefully, it won't be a problem, but it might be. And we'll find out. I'm just excited. I, I don't know, like, No Man's Sky is probably one of my favorite games to come back to, weirdly enough, just because it's kind of neat to see whenever they come up with, like, a new patch. Because every time they do patch the game, it comes with a lot of new features and stuff like that. And honestly, it's still barely a step in the right direction. This game needs a lot of work before it's going to be really good. But every time they add stuff, I'm more than willing to come back and play some. Because this is also my f my favorite game to, like, kind of play and relax. This game and, like, Dragon Quest Builders. And Foundation Update for that came out at about the same time as Dragon Quest Builders. And it was just, ah, oh, that was such a relaxed period of time for me. I loved it. Wow, this is taking a while. Okay, maybe let's uh, let's cut cut ahead. All right. Uh, huh. Yeah. So, uh, hey everyone, we're back. We're good, sort of. We're not. Also, sort of. So, ran into a bit of an issue here, where um, yeah, I spawned underground. I had a mod that modified the terrain to make everything look sweet, and I didn't really think. I, I didn't think at all to myself. By the way, this is probably a bad move. So anyway, let's see if I can get out of here. Uh, I, I'm... This is like the third try or something. Okay. So yeah, I'm skimming the surface. There we go, got it! Alright, all I had to do is grenade the surface. Yep, there's our little exit. So, here's the problem. This is our system. My base is... was? Over there. No, that's my... that's a drop pod. What's this? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna need a new base. Honestly, I'm probably gonna need a new home planet. All things considered. Let's see if I can, um... Oh! Wait, is that it? There's something over here. Huggle torch. Oh! Oh, there's a flashlight mode now. Nice. I dig it. I'll have to see how that works. Alright, so, uh, this is probably gonna destroy my old base, but that's fine. I didn't really have a whole lot of ownership over it anyway. So is this... Alright. Uh, let's see, so... We're just gonna claim this at the time being. We'll get all of the resources. I don't even know what happened to all of it. Whoa! Hi! Who? What? Ho <laughs> ho! Who are the... What are you? Architect Zornis. So this guy's new. Okay, you made a start, Traveler. Let me help you build upon it. So show me your blueprints. Unfortunately, I don't think we... Oh! 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 Interesting. So he just sells base parts for a lot of money, but he does. So we can get curved cuboid roofs and stuff like that. Can I make these? Hopefully we get the ability to make these, but I guess he sells them. So we have a health station, a shielding station, a standing planter. Oh, interesting for... Crops on the sides, maybe? That's interesting. Viewing spheres, stuff like that. I wonder if I can build underwater. Race Initiator. Oh, okay. A message module for leaving messages to people's square rooms. Nip Nip. I'll have to figure that out. I really... The thing I care most about is whether or not I can, um... Uh, the thing I care most about is whether or not I can, um... Okay, there we go. Get all my stuff back. Looks like I can. Looks like that's only a very small amount of the stuff that we had spent, which super sucks. Yeah, like one album in Pearl? Ugh. I, uh... That sucks. No, that's okay. This is a new series. We got new things to do and find out and stuff like that. So let's start by making a couple of things. Or let's see what we can make. So these are the old base parts. Pretty normal. Infrastructure hasn't changed too much. So I might have to unlock the blueprints for these. Got containers that we need. I might have to cheat heavily to get back to where I was, but maybe I'll just get the resources as I go by. Shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, uh... I guess the easiest thing we should do is probably... Let's just get uh, some basic round rooms. I think we might have some new uh, quests to do. And... We might as well start doing them. Okay, so one, two, three. This is not going to be a pretty base, it's just going to be a functional starter base for the time being. Might need to go get some more iron. I'm just happy that I'm outside. Oh, uh, it's... 
Is it X? No, it is Z. Um, not decoration. Specialist terminals? No. Is it structure? No. Ah, it's tech. Here we go. So we want to make... That's a beacon. Don't care too much. Signal booster. Landing pad. Definitely can't make. Uh, save point. I need platinum and iron. Which I think just means we need iron. Also, this is the new... Uh, this is the new uh, 65 days of static. Ooh! Detrium! That's a new one. Ex wait. Exotic mining laser required. Do I not have that? I'm a little bit concerned about how far I've been sent back here. Okay, I mean... Let's let's be honest here. When it comes down to it, it's actually not a big deal that I've run into this uh, this problem that set me back, deleted my base, got rid of all of my stuff. Uh, I think I saved up a bunch of things too. I probably should have. I wish they'd actually announced these slightly ahead of time. Okay, is it G to switch? No, I have no idea. Well, this is pretty slick. Works well. Okay, I think this guy. Yeah, it's Pugnium, right? Whatever. I mean, I've got a, I got a 40 slot ship. Well, that's something I can work with. I've got the ability to tele, uh, teleport systems. Oh, I don't know where this is going to drop me. Well, at least we've got a warp drive, so we can go to cooler places if we want to. Life is a bit of a mess for everyone here at Wanderbot Enterprise. We need some. Um, I just realized I don't know how to. I don't know how to scan pulse anymore. Ah, see. Okay, there we go. It's been a while. Um, do we have any plutonium? We don't. This whole planet's changed. Honestly, uh, it's about time I leave. Uh, the things that I liked this planet for are gone. And so I'm probably going to just rip this place up and continue on elsewhere. But we'll have to find a new, new system for that. So I'm really curious. Oh, I see. That just means my base is here. Alright, so can we get a save point down? I need platinum as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get the specialist term. I apparently can get specialist specialist terminals in there. Let's do construction for the time being. Okay. So let's see. Do you have anything new for me? Okay. So. We've already done construction, so that's good. Uh, how do we delete? There we go. So we've done construction. Exocraft terminal. Ooh. Okay, I'll take a look at that in a second. I just want to see if any of these guys have anything interesting and new. Yeah, so they didn't actually add anything new to these guys, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. What's this one? Science terminal. Probably nothing with this guy either. I mean, if that's the case, that's the case. Let's see, work has been vital. Thank you. I wish they had actually expanded on these guys a little bit more. While I was gone. But oh well. What about ag terminal? Oh, right, I forgot how weird this guy's face was. Yep. Nothing. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to buy some, like, Elbaman Pearls and stuff like that. Oh! Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, I pressed the Windows key, not Z. Or, not Control. Okay, uh, so we've tried everything except for Exocraft Terminal. So we're gonna need a Technician. Well, that'll be fun. That'll be interesting. I guess let's see where this drops me. Okay, let's me return to the last station, so that's good. Um, I think that's actually a fair distance away, but that's not really a problem. Uh, but what this is actually going to do is this is going to let me get to my ship. Uh, which is still underground in that, that infinite void of scary nonsense. Okay. Oh, extract nanites. Oh, maybe you get nanites if it's um a duplicate blueprint. Oh, that would be incredibly useful. All right, so what do we got around here? Unfortunately, they still really haven't made this area that much more interesting, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, but yeah, we got to find a technician around here. So we got a little warp point. Uh, no, there's no door over there. 
Uh, okay, so there's my ship. I will be looking for a new ship again, which will be kind of interesting. Actually, um... Did this... Did they change this? This looks like a new model. I could be wrong, though. I'll have to be looking for a new ship. I'm probably going to keep to a fighter. Eh, maybe not. Maybe a science craft. Alright, so you're a trade... You're a builder. Ah, technician. I uh, demand a place on your throne world, interloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft and Viking mech priest to administrate its mass. Pray only that you have an exocraft terminal sufficient for my skills. Refusal. Refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. Be quick. Sure. Oh, I probably should have read the other one. You are weak and unworthy of my skills, but I have no choice. I will flee to your vile world when I am certain of safe passage. I will something. Thanks. Thanks, Sean. All right. Uh, let's see what you have. I, I have to say they do look... Nicer in the new lighting and the textures and stuff like that. So abandon Viking high something about a weapon All right, let's uh, let's try taking his multi-tool and see what happens So he's uh, he's ditching all right, so let's see let's compare the two mining tools, so um Why are these red I have no idea maybe they're Different, I don't know. Class bonuses are interesting. Value. Well, honestly, I'm not going to switch it out because mine's better, sort of. We still don't have the grenade tool. I might have to cheat to get that. Oh, and by re by refusing it, it actually decreased my Viking standing. That's stupid. Okay, so I've got I've got stuff. Uh, let's see if I can buy anything from here. Oh, they made interacting with menus so much easier and. There's, like, nothing here. Oh, but there's plutonium. Which we kind of desperately need. Uh, lemium, titanium. Yeah, so the rest of this stuff is kind of junk. Hello. Tech merchant. Blueprint, blueprint trader. Okay, so we can trade nanite clusters for things. Damage radius. So, we probably already have that. Unfortunately, these are really expensive, but... Maybe that's just for now. So this is how we can fill in some of the blueprints that we, uh, don't have. Okay. Well, now that we've done with that, we've got everything else. Vehicles, go back to the, talk to the technician. Now I'm going to check out this. Even though it doesn't seem to have anything particularly of note. Oh, extract nanites. Or nanites? I don't know why I want to say nanite. Oh, it's because, uh, na neonite, or whatever, from Vorion. It's messing with my brain. Anyway, uh, let's see if anybody else has landed in the area. Yeah, we have. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Oh crap! I'm gonna start looking into uh, getting new ships. Man, I really wish I hadn't had that uh, mod on. Well, what do we do? I guess let's go back and talk to the uh, the technician and see what they're they're up to. We can also this should make it so my ship spawns next to my new base. So that should give me some options here. Ooh, that's a pretty viewport. I always like the planets in this game. I just really wish they operated in a, under a proper, um, like, a solar system model. I'd love to see them actually revolving around the sun and stuff like that. Instead, it's just kind of this, like, awkward cluster. I don't know, it'd just be really cool if, uh, solar systems actually made sense in this game. Not that it's a really big deal, but still. Well, at least these loading screens are quick. And nice looking, comparatively. Okay, so the Wander 1 system. Huh. You could like galaxy. I wonder if there's uh I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, hello, this is Wanderbot. What? Oh, that's the message I leave at my base. Okay, interloper, I will do as I promised. Build a Romer Geobay from the schematic, and my exocraft shall be yours. Unworthy though. You may be. Now excuse me, I must ensure this location is defensible, should my people try and find me. The technician has set up their equipment at the Exocraft Terminal. They offer me the schematic of Romer Bay. They have calmed since I last saw them, though I feel a sense of dread within their eyes, of the paranoia that has sustained them across the stars. I do not know what I feel. 
I do not know whether I've made a mistake, but there is nothing to be done. The Viking has honored their word. I will honor mine. It's good that you're here. It is not good, Traveler. It is a necessary evil. I fled the Viking Armada across a hundred worlds within the pit of an e that exocraft. Let's see something. Shoot. Okay, Romer Geo Bay, an underground secure parking facility of the Romer Medium Exocraft. So we need to make we need to make two voltaic cells. Can I make those? Unfortunately, since we're low on resources, I might not be able to make some of this stuff. We need Antrium. Let's see if I've got any uh, local caves. Okay, we do have a local cave. Yeah, I think this is where we originally spawned in from whatever. Oh, right, I was gonna check something, so... Do I not? Oh, I have the advanced mining laser. But no exotic? Oh, that's worrying. Because, yeah, there's that new resource that I'd like to mine. But... We can't, for reasons. Oh, we're gonna get that message a lot, aren't we? I might have to get rid of that. Oh, no. Even more worrying. There's a very real possibility that's a message left over from before. We really need to find a new base. Let's see, can I scan for Antrium? No, it doesn't look like it. Can scan for Emerald, but I don't need it. Money is kind of of no consequence to me, though, now that we've shelled out a bunch for my freighter and other- I don't know. Uh, mm, if I can get it, access to some of my storage bays, we might actually be able to start making some money. I just hope I had saved some Albumin Pearls and whatnot. Because that's a little concerning. I, I probably should have prepped for this a little bit harder. Okay, uh, let's see. So, can I make any Voltaic cells? Awesome. Can I make another one? No. I'm gonna pin the recipe. I don't know if that actually brings it up. No, that's iron. That exotic mining laser. Oh wait, you're... Nope. Okay, well, multi-tool... Multi-tool. Mining beam. Burn through a little bit of this carbon. Let's see if I can chop down a tree or something. I don't want to use the plutonium seeing as we have, like, none. I mean, worst comes to worst, we hop into the ship and fly down to the surface and do whatever. I seriously did not plan for, like, any of this, and I think I've kind of bungled it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, we're not screwed yet. <laughs> To some degree, there's the temptation to just start over with this sort of thing. But we're in a much better spot, and I'm gonna have to spend far less time farming here. And we can spend far more time actually screwing around. Yeah, if any of you guys watching this uh, want to see how I got to where I am, um, go watch my Foundations series. Because that was, that was how I actually, you know, got all this stuff and built a crazy big base and realized that there was kind of nothing to do past that point and got bored and whatever. I don't know, it's life. Um, but... I would highly recommend you check that out instead of getting pissy at me for not starting over every single time. Just because, ugh, it's just time. Time is hard. Hard to come by and this is so much easier for me. Cause yeah, how would you guys like me to play through all of the foundations grinding plus, uh... plus Pathfinder grinding? Oof. I don't... Oh. Okay, I need to kill you. I can't kill it. Ah, son of a... We need to leave. That's my comm station from earlier. And every time we come by, it's going to be like, Hello, this is Wanderbot, and I will be... Grumple. Okay. It's where I had way more- I had way more resources than this. Oh, there are some Voltaic cells. Oh, and some free Antrium. Well, I guess we'll take what we can. I'll progress where I can, uh, but we're gonna have to look into farming or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Okay, uh, so he wanted me to make a vehicle bay. There it is. Exocraft. Where's the exit? I've already lost it. <laughs> 
Can I just put it wherever I want? Oh, I can. Well, that's handy. Still kind of expensive, but it's not that bad. Plus, I think I can reclaim it and we just come with a free vehicle. Awesome. Okay, so that's summon Exocraft. This is the Exocraft. We have... We have an Exocraft. Okay, so it's got Halo driving. How does it handle hills? Oh, it can jump. Just slightly. Okay. So, it can handle surfaces, but we... I think we're gonna need the boost module. Uh, how does it handle my base? Okay. <laughs> Was wondering about that. This actually handles pretty well. Uh, I wanna get some lasers on this thing, so we can do some, uh, heavier mining. We're gonna need it. I... I would love it if I could actually load this up onto my freighter or something like that, but I think I'm gonna have to rebuild the, um... the terminal every single time. Well, anyway. Interloper, have you constructed the rumor geobay? Grah, tell me when you have, have. We must scan this world. We must find its signals, its secrets. The technician promises to give me an Exocraft signal booster once I've built the rumor geobay. When I approach them, I notice the, a photograph on their display, quickly swept away and hidden when they see me coming. I cannot be certain, but it looked as if it showed the technician standing with other members of its species. It might have been their family, if the Viking have such a concept. I've built the rumor geobay. Good. Here's the blueprint for the Exocraft signal booster. The augmentation will allow you to discover buildings of the signals from afar. But interloper, know that it disgusts me that you lack so much knowledge. I have to read fast, because otherwise we're not going to get it. Okay, so, uh... So this is a radar thing. Due to their large power consumption and inherent subatomic instability, they're only found installed in Exocraft. Okay, so Heridium and a bypass chip. Which I should be able to make one of those. Uh, E. Oh, hey! Exocraft. Neat stuff. So it's got a fusion engine. Oh, so I'm gonna have to fuel this thing. Uh, install technology, all signal booster. Cool. So this should make exploring so much easier. Which I'm kind of looking forward to. Oh. I should probably talk to the guy again. I bet he has something new, new to ask of me. Once we have the Exocraft Signal Booster, we can map this planet. Traveler, know that my race were once more than just warriors. We were explorers, defenders of these worlds. Before the Sentinels, before Herc and his great folly. It's interesting that they've got this plot here. I actually hope they put it in at some point. Anyway, the technician requires me to build an Exocraft Signal Booster. First, we must gather intelligence regarding our surroundings. Weapons will come later. The more time I spend with this creature, the less they remind me of the other Viking I've encountered. Although, the threats are still there. There's a passion within them for more than just killing. Who can say what life it might have lived? What life I might have lived if I were not born to explore these worlds. Worlds. Ah, hiccup. Anyway. I've built the Exocraft sig Signal Booster. Good. Here are the weapon blueprints as promised. For what we must do, we must prepare for every eventuality. Okay, so we've got this, which needs a power cell, which I think I can make really easily. Alright. Um... Hitting caps lock. Uh, so power cell needs carbon and plutonium. Well, now I've got a vehicle I can drive around. So let's, for starters, we got to check a couple of things. Um, can I charge you? Ah, oh, I, I got plenty of thamium for this. Good. Is my ship here? There it is. Okay, good. I was a little bit worried it was not going to be around. So starship. Um. Well, at least I have a fair amount of my rare stuff. What about the freighter? I think I... Yeah, I've got all the really rare stuff on the freighter. Wait. Did my freighter's colors change? Was it always that ugly? I'm gonna need a new freighter. Okay. Uh... Well, it looks like we got some spare spadonium and Corzagon. I might be able to farm some more. Uh, for Vidium, too. Like... Except for Rygogen. Rygogen's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna need to go find a... A water world at some point. So let's transfer the voltaic cells over. Oh. Well, I did have some albumin pearls. Maybe I do have a stock of them hiding somewhere. That would be incredibly helpful. Um. Yeah, so I want to check with the roamer. Can I, I can charge it with 
plutonium power cells and stuff like that. Okay, quest for plutonium, gotta find. So we need two more karaite sheets, which I think are really easy to get. It's really just the plutonium. Can I scan? It'd be nice if I could actually... Oh, there's some. Uh, it'd be nice if the scanning actually did something. As far as I can tell, it's just regular scanning. I gotta say, though, driving in this is super nice. Okay, so we've got plutonium. It doesn't look like a plutonium crystal, but... Hey, I'll take it at face value. Yeah, I need to find a new planet, I think. I don't mind this one that bad, but it's kind of a nuisance. Alright, what did you have for me? Add something for me. Uh, Nanite clusters. Ooh, platinum. Anything else particularly amazing? Okay, journey milestone accomplished, which is... Legend, destroyed 80 sentinels. Okay, cool. And we can skip that whenever we want, which is super helpful. Alright. So if I scan on this thing... It's pretty much the regular scanner, that sucks. I mean, it gets me, like, plutonium and some other stuff. Which, I mean, to be fair, we desperately need, but still. At least it handles like a dream, comparatively. It's pretty fuel efficient. I'll have to see what other upgrades we can unlock for it. Hopefully there's a number, but maybe not as much as ships. I don't know, we'll figure that out. Alright, uh, life's good. Let's get back in the roamer. And let's see if we can upgrade it again. We need to make a... Okay, so I don't have any karite sheets on me, but maybe we do in the base. Can I just roll straight through resources? I can. We don't collect any of the resources, we just destroy them. Okay, good to know. Also, as far as I can tell, this thing might be invincible. Might not be. I don't know. Seriously, though, this is actually really cool. <laughs> okay, uh, so we should be within range. Let's see if we can... We should have the karite sheets, yeah? I don't know. Oh, I got some other things that I can build, too. Uh, I'll mess around with them later. Stamina enhancement. I wonder why I never bothered. Guess maybe I just didn't care? Alright, so... We've got the karite sheet, so all we need is love. Now, all we need is a boost uh, power cell. Okay, so if I want to put the mounted cannon on, let's put it here. I don't think I can move them around. Yeah, I can't move them around. All right, so now we got the cannon. Let's go see what the, the guy says. I... I have detected sentinel depot, uh, depots on this world. Use your Exocraft signal booster to track one down. Traveler, destroy the depot and bring me back its precious armadium for use in my work. I will construct an Exocraft acceleration module for future expeditions. Alright. The technician requires me to use my Exocraft signal booster to locate a depot and steal the armadium from within. I will use this substance to create an Exocraft acceleration module. The Viking possesses an unusual obsession with those. I have come to know as sentinels. I have seen them looking over ancient scripts in Viking language, muttering various names. Albinquil, Aeron, Atlas. Is this why its people pursue it? What secret is it discovered? What heresy is it committed? It would actually be really neat if they added a plot as the final update for this game. That'd be fun. Ooh, we got a gun now. Aha! Alright, so how do we use the signal booster? X. Oh. Scan for depots, resources. Oh. That's kind of neat. Okay. And now it's telling me to trade stuff for stuff. That's understandable. All right, so it's going to take us a little while to get over there, but that's fine. We should have plenty of resources, and I'm going to check for more. Oh, really? Okay, so this thing is not invincible. We also have to worry about those stupid things. 
to do my shields come back over time. It looks like they do. That's good. Now I'm going to keep my eye out for some more plutonium along the way here. This thing it handles like a champion, actually. I dig it. It's a little jumpy. It feels a little weird. Uh, like, you know, Hello Games really hasn't designed a whole lot of vehicles before. Uh, which actually seems pretty reasonable. Alright, so let's scan for resources as we go by, too. What kind of resource is this? Okay. Oh, it's nickel. Barely any. We need, uh, we need proper... Uh, exo-based mining systems. Doesn't take falling damage. Awesome. Okay, also, you can only scan for one of these things at a time. So we've got to scan for the depot. Ah, crap. It gave me a new depot. Oh, this is great. <sighs> Probably should have flown, but honestly, we're here to... Oh, that... These are some resources. Uh, honestly, we're here to find new new things. So, chrysonite... I, well, we're not just here to find new things. Mainly, I'm I'm here to test out the vehicles and driving. See if there's anything neat. Uh, plutonium? Have I? Oh, I've scanned those things before. I feel like this planet's changed since I was last here. Less trees. Significantly less trees. Oh, yeah. I remember those guys, but they weren't green last time. Weird. This game is weird. Huh, I've even scanned those. This is weird. I'm gonna grab some Thamium here, seeing as that... Oftentimes... It's kind of a pain in the butt... To get my hands on? I don't know. Right, let's get back to my... Let's get back to my vehicle. Flying probably would have been faster. Uh, but, you know, it's fun to mess around. I feel like they might have also changed the texturing on resources and stuff here. I don't know, we'll see. I do want that booster, though, so we don't get stuck in holes. <laughs> Watching this thing just go chunking straight through, um... Straight through, like, loads of iron is really funny to me. I'm hoping we can also get the, um... Yeah, I'll need to find a new... A new... Home base. This, this planet sucks. Um... What am I thinking? I really... Oh, it's those stupid... Slappy plants. You really think you should be able to just drive over them and not take any damage. Oh, that's okay. Um... Jeez, what am I even saying? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I gotta find a new place to live. This planet has changed just slightly enough. But in a kind of super bad way, as far as I'm concerned. Like, uh... This used to be a really beautiful planet. The skies look a little bit nicer, but the the terrain generation has gotten a, a lot worse. It used to be like fairly arboreal as far as I remember and it had like you know, it, it was neat to explore. And still nice, it just doesn't feel as nice as it used to be. I don't know if I destroyed it with that mod that I had running or what or I don't know, whatever. Let's see what kind of, uh, spots we can come across. I gotta say, though, uh, getting this roamer very early on has gotta be, like, a, a huge thing for people. Like, I can imagine exploring- oh god, there's that guy that was planning on exploring an entire planet, like, never leaving his planet. I bet this- this update comes as, like, an extreme blessing for that poor guy. Alright. I don't have an Atlas pass- oh, I probably left it behind in my ship. Can I make it? Uh, let's see. Right, it's something you make. Atlas pass V1. 10 Heridium. You'd think the V2 or V3 would be good enough, but no dice. Sucks a bit. Whatever. Okay, now are you gonna just give me nanites? 
Okay, so maybe... Oh. You know, that actually makes a lot of sense. Get rid of the, um... Get rid of the weird, like, little blueprint sections. And, uh... Replace it with a... A much more substantive... Uh, nanite system. Yeah, now that I think about that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Is that really all that there is around here? That's kind of bleak. Oh, interesting. You can access your inventory at the very least while doing that. Actually, let's get the plutonium up, up and over here. There we go. Might as well get the small deposits, too. That's good. I'm gonna kill you ahead of time. Did I get it? Or did it get away from me? Okay, got it. That's you too. Not terribly worried about protracted fights with Sentinels. I got a fair amount of shield boosts. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's new uh, 65 Days of Static music. I dig. Oh, cool. We can just drive straight through some of these things. Nice. Alright, well let's head for whatever whatever things at the depot. And upgrade this some more. So the one question I have is, um Does my Exo Exocraft transfer between planets, or if I am I gonna have to make an upgrade a new one every single time? I'm hoping I already made the cannon. Stupid update tracker. Uh or objective tracker. Um you know, I I hope it's like the ship where it just kind of teleports with me. All I have to do is put down the bay, and we're good to go. But if that's not the case, I'm going to be kind of rather disappointed. It's not going to be that big of a deal, but still mildly disappointed. Okay, so here we are. So I want to destroy this, but we might as well grab what we can around here. I guess I need to get my Atlas Pass V1. I guess I'll just store one probably in my in my vehicle so I don't have to carry it around personally. Seems like a good idea. Are we picking up any of these resources? We're getting platinum. Oh. Armadium. Did we get it? Yep, yeah, we got some armadium. Needs like 70 though. Which is kind of rough business, because I don't think we're going to be able to get that much. Is this destructible? No, it doesn't. What can I destroy you? We do get the pugnium from the, uh, the dead drone though. Okay, so. Debris. Neutrino module. Oh, that one's still alive. We also got some power canisters. Didn't realize there'd be more of these. Wait, did they get repaired? Oh. Okay. Uh, I think we're totally out of resources, though. Which sucks. How much, uh... How much armadium? Nope, we've got just enough armadium. Cool. I guess let's head home. That was weird and glitchy. I dig this thing. I dig this thing's driving, but it is very much just like whoop all the time. It's great, and I'm going to enjoy using this to to get around. I really want to make that like hover skater type thing and go ragagen uh, farming. That's that's probably my most important uh, major goal here. Uh, actually, no. Our, our goal is several fold. One, we want to find a, uh, we want to find a planet that has, uh, Rygogen on it that also looks nice. Because that's the only resource that I generally can't get my hands on easily with farming or trade. And so if I have the ability to, um, if I have the ability to go out and get Rygogen whenever I want, Rygogen and Antrium, but I think Antrium's fairly common. I think it might even be on every planet. Uh, and since we can take the skimmer around, we can just go and get it whenever we want. Then we should be able to make the prettiest possible base. 
I think I'm gonna make a bunch of money before next episode, though, so we can have some, um... So we can have some... Free... Leeway? I guess to do whatever we want. I might also get some rudimentary farms queued up. Cause... We lost a lot of that stuff, and... That hurts, cause like... Album and pearls and whatnot. Maybe, maybe I had, uh, more of a stock saved up than I remember. Unfortunately, it's been a couple of months and I've played a lot of games and, eh, I just, I don't remember what I planned on. I think I was just kind of burnt out. But next time, uh, when this series, when this specific series ends, when we're done with the Pathfinder update, I'm going to make sure that I have an insane stock of resources saved up on either my ship or on my freighter, because those things don't get glitched out and disappear. Uh, because normally what's supposed to happen is when you make a new base, all your resources are just supposed to transfer over. It's not the case, and unfortunately, my base just disappeared from existence, so... It was down there. But, like, ships were landing on it, even. But... Oh well. It really wants me to make those karite sheets. You know, I've probably got enough iron for it. Let's just humor the damn thing. Uh... See, can we... I'll just use up the power canister. Let's just make the kerite sheets. Okay, so let's go drop this off and then that'll probably be good enough for the time being. We've made some serious progress here already. Ah! Still wants me to get those kerite sheets. Dumb objective transfer. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, and the armadium's in my ship. I have to clear my inventory out. Uh, let's see. Transfer unwanted items to your starship. Okay, so Exocraft. I want them, not my ship. This is dumb. Um, oh, hey, I can spin it around and stuff like that. Let's see, what do we have that we can get rid of? Actually, can I... Can transfer some stuff. Let's transfer the Omega on. Because we definitely don't need that. Uh let's keep going. What else can we transfer? There's gotta be resources that I don't need a whole lot of. We got a ton of spidonium. Well that's kinda nice, actually. Uh, do I have a bunch of, like, spare karite sheets? And oh! We got gold I can transfer. Glad I... got extra of that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so starship. It'd be nice if there was a sort inventory button. Oh god, why don't they have one of those? Wait, what? Was there? Huh. Alright, let's just get rid of the karite sheets. Seeing as it's just going to be doing weird, dumb things to me. Uh, fusion engines. Charge with some of our extra plutonium. Okay, so now we should be able to transfer the armadium to my ship. To me. That's a bit dumb. Wish I didn't have to do that. Oh well. Not the end of the world. I do wish, uh, Nanite, uh, Nanite, Nanite clusters. I wish they actually were, um,. A separate currency and didn't fill inventory slight slots. Oh well. At least they stack pretty high. Alright. So I have the armadium you requ require. The technician takes the substance from me, using it as the basis for an exocraft acceleration module. Satisfied, they give me the blueprint without another word. Okay, so heridium and armadium, and I need more of it. Ah, that sucks. That super sucks. Well, I guess either way, we're in a great spot. Let's... Does it save when we get in and out of the roamer? No idea. Doesn't look like it does, so let's let's just head over to our crap ship and hop out. Did that save? Hello, this is Wanderby. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, okay, we've saved recently, so I think we're in a good spot. Okay, so I guess with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, Pathfinder update, we got a lot of things to do. We really do. Uh, luckily, we've, we've got a good base point. 
Ah, uh, we just have to kind of crawl back from where we once were. I thought I was prepared, and I clearly was not. Um, and it's totally my fault. So I guess uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, uh, A, go back and watch my two previous series. The, the original launch, uh, which I did on the PS4, and the Foundations update, which I did on PC, and is the prequel series for this one. And I'll have a link to that in the, uh, the post scene, whatever. And obviously, if you do want to see more of the Pathfinder update, uh, hit subscribe because I'm gonna play the crap out of this. I'm gonna murder the heck out of these guys. Uh, let's switch to the Bullcaster. I don't know if the Bullcaster is any better, but it auto aims for me. Just slightly. I wonder if I have to worry about friendly firing my own ship. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to murder these guys, eh, Pugnium. Not so keen on the Pugnium. Um, where'd the other guy die? What? Oh, there we are. Debris. Yeah. Nanite clusters. Oh wait, can I push my car around? I can push my car around, that's awesome! It's actually really cool. Not that it really matters, but it's still nice. Anyway, free nan nanite clusters, there we go. So yeah, like I was saying, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.